I'm just a hot mess today. This is me. Totally un filtered. No, the Duckers have never threatened a lawsuit against me. Hi guys. Well, this is not what I wanted to be doing tonight. Not at all. I spent the better half of my day um, actually putting together this amazing interview for you guys. It was so much fun. I was had the chance to speak with Amy Duggar King. Right now, it's marked private. While this video was premiering, I received a message from Amy that someone wanted the video now. Someone. Wonder who that could be. So, for me, if I were in a situation where someone was waving the white a flag over me saying, I'm gonna sue you if you speak about me, I'd say, bring it on. Sue me. Like, Jim Bob, I have been critical of some of the choices of the family, but never overtly cruel. This was an interview I was so proud of. It was highlighting Amy's um, tenacious attitude, her zesty personality, her ability to become her own human despite growing up in a situation that was very abnormal, where she felt like she didn't fit in. Where she believed that no matter what was happening, somehow she wasn't good enough. Like because she wore pants, because she listened to secular music, because she watched TV, because she went to high school, that somehow she was different. Her mother is the sister of Jim Bob Duggar. It's also a family that is tightly controlled by the patriarch, Jim Bob Duggar. When I found out shortly after this video went live and while it was premiering that this video would need to come down, I was shocked. No one has the power to erase anyone's story, no matter who you are, no matter how much money you have, and no matter what network you work for. The minute I heard the request that someone was requesting that this video come came down, someone silencing a niece, or of someone silencing a family member, of someone trying to protect a name where this same family couldn't protect their own da daughter. But apparently, this person or someone is more concerned about their perceived belief that they have this image that needs to be protected, and that someone apparently knows who I am watches my content and believes I hate their family, which is not true. That's arrogance and I believe narcissism. I don't care if there's an NDA in place or if there's a she can't talk about us, we don't exist. It doesn't matter. This has been a pattern, a pattern of behaving that when I publicly noted that Jill was not invited to a lunch, suddenly the next day, Jill was at lunch with them at Panera. I made a sort of facetious comment, a facetious comment that maybe the family followed me or watched me. Well, guess what? Now I know that someone is watching me and someone is seeing me and someone doesn't like the fact that the, that their organization that they're affiliated with, the IBLP, is nothing more than a cult. The problem here is that America is built on free speech. Not only that is you can silence Amy, but you can't silence me. And now that I know that someone is trying to silence people, it's just going to further my momentum to ensure that people know what someone is doing. Because real people that are not worried about what they're doing don't try to hide. This video was not taken down by YouTube. This video was taken down because someone didn't want it up. They can call it correcting, we call it abuse. They can call it belief, we can call it a cult. I am so frustrated, I'm angry, and I'm further motivated to continue to speak out for people that are in oppressive communities like the IBLP. And I'm just gonna speak to someone. Hey someone, you, the joke is on you someone, because everyone knows you're in a cult. Hey someone, you were kicked out of your church because of the way that you handled the situation with your son. Your son went on and got married. He went on to have affairs. He went on to have really some really bad things happen. And instead of you someone protecting the girls, you have a daughter now that is outside of your family and shunned because it didn't fit your family's beliefs. The United States is like all about freedom of religion, but it doesn't mean you get a carte blanche like pass to use your religion to control and harm others. And when you take away the rights of a woman who is not even your daughter, your or even someone that you remotely support, because let's be frank, nobody got paid on that show. Now here's the thing, someone. There are people that don't have NDAs or alleged NDAs. And just because you don't want people to talk about their lives doesn't mean the truth will not come out. Because no one believes you, someone. No one. They don't want you there. Okay? Why does someone's 30-year-old daughter live with their parents? Why? does someone control the purse strings so that their children have no jobs and are completely dependent on their parents? Why does someone have their children living on their property? Why does someone continue to protect a boy or a man now 
who has admitted, admitted to doing things to five women, to cheating on his wife, and who now has the Department of Homeland Security investigating him. They're facts. We also know that Josh Duggar is on trial for fraudulently purchasing property that was already owned by someone. We also know that his lawyer was kicked out and removed because he was a part of that company. And we know today that his wife will have to testify against him, someone. And we know now that when Amy Duggar King wants to simply talk about who she is, someone says she can't. I feel like someone is an emperor and someone feels like he owns the universe. And someone is a multimillionaire because someone has lied to all of us. Someone has told us he is a good Christian. Someone has told us that he's a faithful human, but someone is part of an organization where the founding member, the founder of this organization was kicked out because 34 women accused him of you know what. Nothing's changed in the IBLP. It still has the same practices. You are still telling women they have to be joyfully available. You are still telling children that they must obey and they can be corrected. And calling something a correction someone doesn't mitigate the fact that it's A-B-U-S-E. And just because someone has brainwashed his children and basically put them into submission with threats of suing them. And today, when someone else simply tried to share their experience, stuff that Amy has said on marriage bootcamp, by the way, nothing bad. You didn't like that Amy was affiliated with me. You said take it down, someone, or she would get maybe sued someone. I don't know, someone. Does that seem fair? This is why, this is why I speak out about this kind of stuff. This is why you can silence her, but you cannot silence me. You can silence your daughters, someone, but you cannot silence America and the thousands of people who know who you are, who know what you guys did, and who knows that your son is under investigation by the Department of Homeland Security because they confirmed it. And you know that ICE isn't investigating him because he took candy from the drugstore. There's only a few reasons why ICE would be involved. Most people with a brain know why ICE is looking at someone's I can tell you that Amy is an intelligent, thoughtful, amazing human being who has a heart, who has candor, who is hilarious. And you know what? Amy's gonna come back on this channel and we're gonna talk about life. We're gonna giggle, we're gonna laugh. And no matter what you do someone, we are gonna show everyone who Amy is despite who you are. I own your breath. I control your breath and I can take away your last breath. You don't get to control everyone. Someone. And you guys have to understand this. This is insane. When people sign these contracts, they are told that the, that the network owns their story, owns their life, that they cannot speak out, that they cannot say anything, that they cannot even exist outside of the show, that the only way they can get out is if they sign ironclad NDAs. TLC, why are you silencing anyone that dares to speak out against the practices of the network? You know, everything good comes to an end, but this was something that never needed to happen. It never needed to be on the air. It never needed to be a thing. This is a family that I don't hate. You know what I don't? I don't hate anyone. I don't hate anyone. What I don't like is anyone using religion to hide behind so they can do A-B-U-S-E. You can protect it all day long, but it's not gonna stop the rest of the world from knowing it's fraudulent, it's not okay, it forces women into a suppressive, a suppressive situation. I'm sad for Amy. Because Amy doesn't deserve this. Because Amy's voice is being silenced. And when that woman's choice is silenced, it proves how misogynistic and inhumane the practices of the IBLP are. And I don't want any child growing up in that. I don't want any woman growing up in that. And I can't fathom why any man would pick that unless they were like a narcissist. Guess what? It's America and I'm entitled to my opinion. I am so upset. Amy, we love you. Amy, you have met a friend in me and I will never stop. Fight. You are silent, but I am not. And let people know that someone cares more about their reputation, which is trash, by the way. And in my opinion, I have to say that. It's funny how the atheist in the situation, someone has more morals, more value, and more compassion. And just because someone is snarky doesn't mean they hate you. It just means they hate the behavior. And I don't like people who use religion to abuse. And that's exactly what is being done here. Amy, you'll be back. I'm sorry this had to come down. I still know what you said, and the internet is forever. Okay, I'm back. My timer was delayed. This is me. A hot mess today. What happened to my face? Oh my gosh. Um...
Ooh, look, I can wear makeup. Whoa. I think it's really sad that anyone would want to silence anyone from speaking out against child abuse. We should all want to protect kids. We should all want kids to not be abused. Don't get mad at the reporters who are telling you the truth that they chose to hide from you. Is it the fault of the person that reports to tell you about what's happening? Or is it the fault of the person for deceiving everyone into believing that it was one way when it was really another? If you are honest and you don't have anything to hide, you won't get reported on. If you have nothing to report on, it won't be talked about. And then you also don't get to have the benefits for over a decade where you made millions of dollars deceiving the public and lying to them about your perfect family, knowing there was child abuse and sexual abuse happening inside of your home, educational neglect, uh, forced labor because the kids did get paid. Um, in a lot of ways, the kids in, the, in, these, in this cult, they're trafficked. Forced marriages, kids being trafficked into arranged marriages, uh, kids getting trafficked to have to work it. I mean, you have to understand, there are kids in this cult that are literally trafficked by their parents for to, into sexual relationships with people. There are kids in this cult that are trafficked to go work at somebody else's house as a mother's helper. That's trafficking. It's illegal in the United States to have a slave. But a, in this cult, women are slaves. Are you really gonna sue your niece and your sister because they dared to speak out of you on you? What does that say about him? That they would be silenced. And then what does it say about the people that are being silenced that try to silence other people? It's like a learned behavior. Well, I've got someone telling me that I need to shut up, so I'm gonna make everyone else shut up because I don't have any control about my life. So I am going to make my own control. But I would never sign an NDA with a man like that. I would never be silenced. I'm also not going to address Lauren Duggar maybe being pregnant. We've like surpassed that gossip on this channel. Like if you've realized it's just a distraction that I'm not interested in talking about. And I think in the cult, the boys are given an unlimited amount of power. I'm not gonna give a recap on Amy. You can watch my other live stream if you wanna watch it. I have zero interest in talking about it again. Like once I've already talked about it, I'm done. I have a new source and I'll give you more information from them in the coming days and then the stuff that I talked about in another post, which has nothing to do with Grandma Mary's death. And that is still in the process of being investigated and like whether it's credible or not. I mean, it's credible. You have to figure out and disseminate if, if that's gonna help or hurt. So I hope Amy can find happiness and peace and I'm sure at some point she can get out from under his thumb of threats and intimidation and fear. I hope for her mom, they both can find a place where they don't feel the wrath of Jim Bob every time they do something. Um, I don't think it's fair for anyone that's being intimidated by someone else to then try to intimidate someone else into silence. So don't use the same tactics that your that your uncle uses on other people because you feel out of control. It's just not healthy. And um, I didn't accuse Deanna. She's not the target. She's a victim of Jim Bob. 
sadly. And she's clearly still being victimized by him. And Amy just needs to stop listening to these trolls that are like feeding her half-ass stories and I insinuating, no, Jana. God, you guys are so stupid. Jana, go back to your cult. Who cares? You know, God, you guys are annoying. <laughs> <clears throat> but again, like, I've never said it was anything more than that. I don't know why people assume that I've implied that somebody was dead. Like, I talked about a rumor online about how it was suspicious. The coroner ruled it an accidental drowning. That's it. I'm not saying you're annoying to my fans. I'm saying uh, annoying to the trolls. Sorry if it makes you think that it's about you. You can go online, go look at the trust. It's literally public record. You can read, it's a public record. Right, anyone can Google. I think she's going through a lot and I think she will be continuing to go through a lot. And I think financially she's probably going through a lot too because this can't be a good time for her business. It can't. I can't imagine that if you have a business and you're associated with the Duggars, if it's outside of construction, that things are going well. It's got to be stressful. It's not like warm and fuzzy topics. Like, why would you be warm and fuzzy about this topic? People have arguments. Here's the sad thing about when a parent dies. There's always a sibling argument, almost always. I'm exhausted. Well, I hate all of them because they're pro-life, or I hate all of them because they vote Republican, or I hate all of them because they're homophobic, or I hate all of them. It's just, I could find a million reasons to disavow every thing about every single one of them. It doesn't change the reporting and it's... Oh, Carrie, I'm so done with you lately. Goodbye. I'm in a glass case of emotion! They are out of the cult and that's what matters. They are not controlled by Jim Bob. So they don't ha like, they're not a, they shouldn't be a target. If I had to like nitpick everything they've done, I would never get anything done. It just depends how controlling the narcissist is. Ooh, look, I can wear makeup. Whoa.